Yeah, good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming to the Today's Restaurant News and Networking Group. This is July the 19th, and my name is Howard Appel. I'm the founder and publisher of Today's Restaurant News. We are a group of vendors in the food service industry who are here to try to help each other grow our businesses and to help any food service operator with any concerns or problems they might have. And if you'd like to reach us to come to a meeting or to submit a question, give us a call at 561-620-8888 or go to our website at trnusa.com and also take a look at our YouTube channel, which is Today's Restaurant, which can be accessed from our website. And Good morning, everybody. I'm going to uh, assign each one of you a number. And the reason I'm doing that, we did this about a year ago, and it was interesting and it was fun. And uh, I think most of us have been here long enough to know uh, enough about the group. So I think this will work. So just let me give you a number. Darren, you're number one. Mulholland, number two. Terry Ark, number three. Terry Lena, number four. John Bunn, number five. Terry Appel, number six. Steve Geller, number seven. John Marinak, number eight. Kevin Anderson, number nine. J Jerry, number 10. Stephanie, 11. Helen, 12. And Steve, are you on the board twice? Yeah, that's my 914. Number. Okay, so you all know your numbers, right? So what we're going to do is I have an envelope here, a plastic bag with a number written on it. And instead of giving us your intro, I want you to give us the intro of the number of the person that I pick out. And this is this is a... This is so that, uh, and then the person will, will have the opportunity to edit what you say. So let's start with uh, Darren. He, he's a, an old timer in the group, I think. So I'm going to close my eyes and pick out a number. And I'll probably pick out number 18. Cause the number, oh good. Who's, there was no 11, was there? Yeah, I was 12. 11. All right, Stephanie. Darren, you got Steph Stephanie's eleven. Yeah, <laughs> this will be an easy so one. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Darren, give give her intro. What are the chances? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm presenting for Stephanie from Brilliant Computing. Uh, she and her father, Mark. Uh, have single-handedly solved many computer problems for those in our group and outside of our group. They take a very personal approach to looking into your computer system, ensuring you have a proper cloud backup solution, in addition to local backups to ensure you have complete redundancy on your data. If you aren't aware, it is hurricane season, so it is very important to have these backups in place and procedures uh, with a worldwide outage caused by a Microsoft crowdsource uh, issue, there is uh, definitely attention that needs to be paid to how do you access your data when you can't get to it online. So if you're looking for some help, a little scared about what you've got to do, if you need to refresh your equipment, remember Microsoft is eliminating uh, Windows 10. So make sure you do have a computer that is Windows 11 updated. Reach out to Stephanie and she can give you pricing and quotes on those services. Show off. Wow. <laughs> Where's the, how much do you charge to do this, Darren? Yeah, I <laughs> when, okay. when is Windows 10 going away? I believe the end of this year. Oh, okay, Stephanie, you got a job. Is it sooner, computer. Stephanie? I know it's well, happening I, soon. I know a lot of new computers are automatically coming with Windows 11 at this point. Um, so it's starting to kind of fade away. But if your computer was purchased with Windows 10, don't upgrade to Windows 11. If the computer was purchased with Windows 11, you should be fine. Yeah, it's not 100% too on all 10s, though, because if it doesn't have the graphics 
card capabilities, it will not be able to upgrade to Windows 11. Yeah, I just wouldn't upgrade from 10 to 11 at all because, yeah, yeah there's just too many things that could go wrong and have gone wrong and software, different parts of the computer just won't run correctly. Um, and nine times out of 10, whenever we find a client has upgraded to Windows 11, um, it, we, we, we tend to roll it back to Windows 10. Hopefully we can catch it, you know, within that first week, because all you gotta do is push a button, it'll restore to Windows 10. If it's been past a week, then we do actually have to do a full format reinstall of the operating system. And it's a little bit more labor intensive, but it's worth it. Yeah, the, the only issue is, is 10 is not going to be supported in future uh, releases and updates at the end of this year, is my oh. understanding. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, Darren. Thank you, Stephanie. Yep. All right, Mulholland. You're up. Hi. I'm going to pick a, pick a number. That's number. <laughs> number 17. That's the other group. I knew it. I knew I'd pick 17 and 18. <laughs> Hold on. Number four. Number Who's number four? I think Terry. Terry Lena. Okay, te test my memory here. You do the um, the clothing, right? <laughs> yes. Because I'm okay. That's what I thought. I'm because I haven't been on that much. So, you guys tired of going into restaurants and everybody's wearing their own clothes? There's no your uniformity. Everybody, you don't even know if they're working at the restaurant. Wouldn't it be nice if you could go to one person that could fit your logo and brand that restaurant within the restaurant so people know when you're going to eat that they actually work at that restaurant or any other facility that wants to show unity and good face value and people that do business with you face-to-face. -face. So if you know anybody like that, give me a call at... Terry, go ahead and fill in your phone number. <laughs> hey, I got a new number in case you guys have it. 317-385-2539. And remember, we're here to make you look sharp. Great job. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh, so let's go, let's let uh, Terry Ochter, she was the one I just got called. Well, let's get a number for you. No, Terry, uh, Terry York, number, number two. Guess number two. You got Mulholland. Okay. Sorry, I, yeah, no, I'm not going to do all of it, but I, I, uh, the, the strategic, um, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> now, your company name's not up on the screen. So, uh, str strategic. Uh, anyway, you guys, you guys help save people money when they want that the, want their uh, looking for supplies and uh, for their restaurant. Uh, the you help, keep talking about this this uh, experience that you've had where you've saved a company thirty like thirty percent on their supplies, uh, and um, it's uh, you have resources all over. So pretty much anything that a restaurant would need um, in regards to um, their equipment, supplies, uh, and um, services. And I know I didn't do that good, but sorry. The only thing you can contact you can contact you can contact uh, Kevin or John or we're missing Chris. somebody. Chris, Chris, yeah, Chris. Uh, yeah, uh, at www.ssc.partners www is our partners. website. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. strategic partners—that's what it is, right? Supply chain. Yes. Supply chain partners. Yes. Supply chain partners. Yes. No, the, the reason I'm doing this is is not to embarrass anybody. To me, just the reason I'm doing this is to is to show you how important it is. To listen to the intros every week, it, it's almost like having a one-on-one -on -one with with a, with a somebody in the group. So uh, let's go to Terry and Lena. I'm going to pick your number, uh, a number. Okay. No good. Number ten. Who's number ten? Let's see. 
Jerry. Jerry. That's uh, Helen. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. So, Jerry, what I know about you is that you manufacture equipment that everyone would need in their restaurant to be able to cook with a high performance quality stoves, um, fryers, things like that. You just uh, get out there and, and once people wear test your stuff, I will test your product. They say, oh, my God, Jerry, I need to buy this because this is the best value for this product. You can reach Jerry. Anytime at 954-415-3040. Any, anything you want to clarify on that, Jerry? <laughs> no, we're an equipment uh, superstore. We have five locations, two in Florida, one in Pompano, one in Sarasota. Um, great, great job, Terry. Thank you. <laughs> okay. If you're satisfied, I'm satisfied. Uh, John Bunn. Guess what? You get number six. That is. Who's number six? I am. Where? <laughs> Terry. Yeah. Oh, happy belated birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Terry does the lead reports for TRN. Uh, they work real hard. Uh, they find all the new restaurants coming in. Uh, they produce it with all the information that you need to help grow your business. Uh, it's done monthly. They've got it uh, for the state of Florida, I believe, part of Texas and some uh, in Georgia now, maybe. Um, but they're trying to expand it and uh, they have great success. Um, I think it was uh, about 80 that you had last month. And it keeps increasing for you. Um, so give Terry a call if you want uh, to know the restaurants that are coming into the state of Florida and, and uh, hopefully a state near you. Great. Good job. You can contact Terry at terry at trnusa.com. Uh, you can also check them out in the uh, Facebook, um, their trade publication, and their phone number is 561 uh, you got the wrong number here. I know it. There it is. 620-8888. Right. Or contact them at trnusa.com. Great. Great. Thank you. Cheat sheet. Uh, let's, <laughs> uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Steve. I know Steve hasn't been here as long as everybody else, but take a shot at it, Steve. I'll try. I'll try. I'm sure you'll do fine. Hold on. Number three. Who's number three? Terry Ark. Oh, for all your promotional materials, anything you need, any swag, any cups, any pens that you want your name, your logo, anything on it, call Terry. 561-308-1393. <laughs> okay, Terry. All right, uh, Kevin, let's go to Kevin. Kevin, number one, Darren. Darren. Darren is the proud owner of Tracy.net. Tracy.net is a communication provider. Tracy.net will solve all of your communication problems. It'll put you into a much better program with your current provider or find another provider that will uh, give you a great discount. They also fix any telecommunication related issues that you might have within your company, uh, make, making your whole telecommunication process as seamless and as easy as possible. Darren can be reached at 800-881-8899 or via email at sales at traci.net. And he Nicely does a done, phenomenal Kevin. job. Thank you. I do That's I do pay attention. <laughs> That's the name of the game. Uh, let's, let's go to Jerry. Jerry's a, one, one of our newer members, so uh, oh, we'll make it easy for you. Let's see. Wing it. Number eight. That? That's Helen. 
Oh, I thought I was 12. Okay. Okay. Sorry. He's 12. Who's, who's eight? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. seven. That's Kevin. No, I'm nine. You're nine. Who's yeah. eight? Wouldn't it be Steve? I'll do Helen. Okay. All right. We're doing Helen. All right, Hello. Helen and her hus husband. Who's, who's twelve? I am. All right, so do do Helen. Okay. Do Helen. All right. Helen and her husband run an uh, ice cream organization, a non for profit. Um, they have a food truck that goes to events and um, have have different ice creams that they can serve. They do many different events throughout the month. Uh, bar mitzvahs, parties, graduations. They're always looking for different events to host. Um, they're really big on providing for um, people that are physically challenged and help, helping them uh, in, in, in those needs. Um, um, and Helen and her husband can be reached at? 561-676-2078 or deliciousspoonfuls.org. And it's a food cart, not a food truck. Gotcha. Okay. Ice cream cart. All right. Um, let's go to you, Helen. You didn't do yes. one yet. I'm going to pick your nope. number. The number is? Number 13. Who is? I believe it's Stephanie. Okay. No, no, no we did Stephanie right. already. That's what you did, yeah. Yeah. So where's, where'd he go? Jordan checked out. That's what it is. Oh, how rude. <laughs> he laughed. John, John, what about John? Yeah, I'm getting there. All right, number number nine. Who's nine? Kevin. Did that already. How'd that happen? Who's seven? That's seven? All right, do Steve. Okay. Uh, Steve Geller. We'll help you with your equipment financing. Uh, give him a call to find out if you need equipment, large or small, and talk to him about your business and see how he can help you with getting the best deal. He's been doing this for decades, and he knows he has the contacts. If you need help, give Steve a call at... 845-362-6100. Six one zero six. I'm in Palisades, New York. Okay. And and Steve. I didn't mess that up too bad. Steve has a video that he sent to everybody. Very interesting. Very uh, very well done. I didn't catch it. It was fun making that too. That was great. Uh, Terry, you haven't done one, right? No. Terry, uh, all right. So you. They're going to do number five. Number five? Who's number five? Oh, great. Hi, John. Okay. This is Mr. John Bunn. He is an original member of the BH Bunn Tying Company. He, uh, well, not an original since it started <laughs> 1905, 19 generations ago. But he is a family member and a working owner. Uh, this is the home of the bun knot, which cannot be duplicated. We have 60 to 70% of delivery drivers admitting to eating the food they deliver. So with this knot on either a pizza box, a bakery box, uh, if somebody opens it, it cannot be reclosed by that person. They will have to take that food back because it will show that it's it's been open, uh, that he can accommodate dry cleaners. He's been in the White House. Uh, he can tie anything that can be tied. And they're working on their biodegradables. Uh, he is uh, still a member. And is a uh, His bun tying machines can be, they're all over the country. His original one, the first one ever made, is still in use. And uh you can reach John at 1-800-222-BUN. Our website is buntyco.com and our email is info at buntyco.com. Nice job. 
Thank you. Did, did everybody get a chance to do one? <clears throat> I didn't introduce anyone else, but did I was we... introduced again very, very nicely by Darren. <laughs> Wait, you you didn't do you didn't do somebody's intro? Okay, do do me. All right. So or that's <laughs> do you want that out in the open? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. So here we are. Um, and I'm going to introduce Mr. Howard Appel. He is the founder and owner of today's restaurant news. Um, and they are a publication and a organization that works with restaurateurs, um, providing services of all kinds, uh, news, information. Um, he's a very helpful person for you if you're in the restaurant industry. Um, if you are in the restaurant industry and you're looking for a networking group, get in contact with Howard Appel. Uh, there are two uh, different online uh, networking groups at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. on Fridays. And yeah, we're a great group and Howard's the guy to talk to. And Howard, what is your number? 561 620 8888. Good idea. Good. <laughs> All right. So, like I said before, I didn't do this to embarrass anybody. I did it to have a little fun. I mean, after this week that we that everybody went through this past week, I think we could use a little fun. And uh, so. Why not? <laughs> okay, the light. We were almost Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Or Helen Hunt. Yeah, I think it also helps for us to realize how we sound to other people and what other people are actually hearing. So we can each, mm -hmm. you know, work on them. So is there anybody oh, left for, for, me to, for me to do? Did everybody get reported on? I don't think Helen got reported. I did. Yeah, she did. Jerry did, did it. Yeah, Jordan left. So I I can't do. Oh, I can. I, I can't do Jordan honestly. That's okay. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> well, and anyway, uh, yeah, plan that night. <laughs> we have a couple of minutes left, and uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm, I'm I'm hesitant to start a, a topic today. Do you, uh, you want your food trivia of the day? Sure. Yes. The oldest restaurant in the world is in what city? New York City. No. Chicago. Oh, the, the world? Chicago. Sorry. No. Rome, maybe. No. But Helen's a lot closer than you guys. St. <laughs> Augustine. In the world? No. Ca Cafe Botin, B O T I N. What? Where? Cafe, Cafe Somewhere Bowden. in the Middle East, right? No. London? Huh? It's in the U.S. somewhere. No, it's not in the U.S. Oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be till the 1500s, so. Wait a minute. Is it Tim Hortons? It's Tim they're Hortons? Not, they're saying the, the world. world, not the country. The world. Tim Hortons is Canadian. Is it London? No. Nope. Well, then no. it's going to be Ireland. China. <laughs> 1725, it's in Madrid, Madrid, Spain. Ooh, no. And just to throw a kicker in, the oldest bar in the world, continually running bar, is in Ireland. It's Athlon, Ireland. And that yeah, year that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> 900. So what? they had bars around for six, 825 years before they opened up restaurants. Wow. So what's the, what is what kind of restaurant is this in Madrid? Um, I, I don't remember. I think it's just a casual, not a deli, but it's casual, just <laughs> dining. It's in wow. Spain, so it's probably Spanish food. Wow. Probably not too many medical or um, the other types of food. The, the reason it's I jumped on, I said New York immediately was because back in, before I moved to Florida, I was a restaurant equipment dealer and manufacturer and we did the whole renovation for the oldest restaurant in the United States which was Sweets at the South Street Seaport well the oldest 
Irish pub in the United States is also a near old stomping grounds. New York City. McSorley's. Yep. Yep. That's yeah. that. I think I've been in there. That was from the Revolutionary <laughs> War. Yeah, I don't know when it started, but they haven't changed the inside of the course since 1910. They didn't allow women into McSorley's until 1971. I'm glad they did oh. that, though. That's why they started Fridays. <laughs> That's right. You're right about that. John's happy for 1971. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh. You know, that's good good to know for sure. Well, I find out it, it's it's funny. I had a, a call today and the gal goes, Well, didn't didn't you just call here a couple of weeks ago? I, I did leave him the message and he'll call you when they're interested. So I said, Oh, you're a really good good secretary if you ever run out of a job you can come work with me that broke the ice and she goes well why don't you send me the email of what you guys do and and i'll make sure that eric takes a really solid look at what your products so oh. you, you do that one thing as i get older i get better and breaking the ice with people throw your sense of humor in there trivia look for that common denominator again you guys know that i teach people how to sell it works it does. That, that, that's a great topic for a short amount of time. What's the best icebreaker that you have in your presentation, Terry? Wow. I work really. I am working very, very hard at connecting people. So tell me about not not so I can sell you, but tell me about your business so I can connect you with the people that you need to to do, to that's going to help your business. So I'm I've been working really hard at doing that lately. Howard, you say Terry, can you be a little more specific? Yeah, I know. I, yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> she had her hand raised. Same with John. We'll throw yeah, that out there too. Right. Now, do you want to hear? Me? Go ahead. Mine is, and I started it back when I was a, sales man, a national sales manager in California. You can have the best product. <laughs> out there but if nobody knows you're there what good is it that that, that doesn't open the you got to get through the gatekeeper to say that you know oh oh i just disguise my voice and say that i'm somebody's uh uh assistant there's five people that work here you my daughter didn't even know who i was when she called i use a irish accent i use a spanish accent i use a uh uh <laughs> Uh, an Australian accent. Oh yeah, it's great. I never it's know who I'm coming home to. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say, "Hold on, sir. Is Howard in the office?" All right. <laughs> One of the things that I do, Howard, when I because I call a lot of places, try to get through. When they answer the phone, they they have to go through the whole rigmarole of all the company name and whatever they've got to have to say. And I stop for a moment. I'll go, how are you today? <laughs> yeah, okay. But what it does is it stops them from being on guard and they have to answer you. So then you actually kind of take control of the conversation and you can roll into whatever you want from that aspect. And they're much more willing to give you more information and to help you because now you're asking them, how are they? And unfortunately in this world today, people don't really care about anybody else. True. You know, we, I even joke with it, and they, you know, we'll we'll talk, talk about it, and uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that you know we can complain about it, but we're all in the same boat. So right. we all know how everybody is, but how do we move forward? How do we go on, on? I do things like that, and people just start opening up and go, "Yeah, you're right. Let's let's help each other." One of my yeah. one of my sales gurus who uh, uh, gave us a. a, a a technique on how to call cold uh, and of course you get you got to get through the gatekeeper so let's say for example i called you john i say n normally you would say can i speak to john or mr bun and then the response would be who's calling the way to get over that is good morning this is howard appell calling for john bun that eliminate that first step 
and yeah. and the person that you're talking to, in my opinion, is the person that you have to mix up. You got to get them to a point where they want to get you off the phone and push you forward to to the person above them. Can I can I say something to what you just said, Howard? Sure. Um, I have been finding that I get a lot, you know, I get a lot of phone calls from people that are trying to sell me. And, and I, I agree with you on that because most of the time they'll ask for, they'll ask for me because my name is on the company and they don't tell me who they are. And I'm, and, and my, resp my, my thoughts are how unprofessional is that you're calling somebody and you don't, uh, cause I was re I was taught. You call, you say who you are first, and then you ask for who. Right. Yeah. Like, then I have to dig and find out who you are. You're calling me, and I have to put forth the effort to figure out who you are. So that, to me, that's a huge thing. I just type in I their phone. They're on the phone, so I know. <laughs> we shouldn't have to. Yeah. How many times have you this called? Cool, for heaven's sake. Yeah. Yeah. How many times have you called the customer several times and they don't answer the phone? Oh, so so the my sales guru told us a technique to get through that as well. It's say on the fourth or fifth call, you leave a message. Hi, this is Howard Appel. I'm, uh, this is the fourth or fifth time I've called. Uh, you know, every morning when I wake up or I'm go, go to bed, I'm able to say my prayers and say and speak to a higher power, but I can't get to you. So you know, it's just, it's just the way to get them thinking and getting. If you start off giving your name, uh, the gatekeeper might think that you have a relationship already with the person you're calling. Yes. And they might pass you through. And they and then a lot of people say, I'm returning this call. Yeah. That's it. That's I don't say it because it's a lie, but a lot of people. <clears throat> they say, well, we spoke three years ago. Yeah. Well, it's like Ter Terry Ark. If she called up, she could say to somebody, hi, good morning. This is Terry Ark. Uh, can I speak to the person who buys pens or banners? And that person who's answering the phone hasn't got a clue what she's talking about. The first thing she's going to do or he's going to do is pass that call on. No, he's going to hang up. No. Yes. What I what I do is, 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 is I say, this is Terry with creative. I'm calling uh, to, to contact to uh, most of the time I call is usually because I'm returning a call or an email, but i this is Terry with creative and I'm looking to speak with, Bubba, you know, whoever. Yeah. Cause you've told them who you are. Yeah. That yeah, works. and I don't. I, I'm not. I'm not running them through the ringer, so I make it quick and easy, especially if it's a switchboard. Right, and creative yeah. could be. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. And yep. if you, if you I send don't, out I don't a do, call, I don't do. I don't do cold calls anymore. So uh, uh, unless it's in, my cold calls are in person. Usually, a lot of events I go to. So. What, I, what I find every day, I get emails from people, and they don't include their return phone number. Yeah. That's to me right away goes right into the garbage. Yeah. It has to have full contact information before I'll even consider calling them back. Yeah. And I and I like to know what you're calling about before you before I have to have a conversation with you. I don't want to wait 30, 30 sec I don't want to wait 30 seconds before I know who you are. If you can't tell me who you are within the first 30 seconds, like you're wasting my time. That's how I look at it as an owner. One of the things that, that we get here all the time is these people who want to invest in gas and oil and all these different things, and they're argumentative on the phone. <laughs> so when somebody answers, oh, well, he knows me, or give me a cell phone, um, well, you got to come through me anyway, um, you know, so how can I help you? And they go, well, I'll just call back later. And they go, you know, in my office here, will go, hey, you still got to go through me to get to them. So if you don't I, tell me what you're doing, and they just want to be argumentative and have all these different things. So bottom line is, I don't want to do be business. honest, be courteous. And if you talk to the people who answer the phone like they're human, they'll get right. you through. 
Mm -hmm. I had one guy that actually said, hey, I'm his doctor. And try to present himself as being a doctor, my doctor. So it was one of these uh, guys that want to do consulting work and all that. So when I found that out, I got on the phone and I said, yeah, sure. Come on. Have the guy come in. Right. He was the owner of the company. Guess what? He got an earful when he walked in my door. And I said, if you've got to lie to get to talk to customers, don't want to do we're not going to do business with you at all. Yeah. And That's right. the owner was upset. He was mad. He understood. Um, but this is the only way that I could get through to the company that You're what right. people are doing is lying to customers to talk to them. Yeah. One, of, one of the things that I've, I've done because of my industry uh, one of the things that I do when I when I was do, when, when I was doing a lot of cold calls because I would literally go to companies and but I was I mean I leave I leave promotional items I leave something behind because you want to get through the gatekeeper if if there's if there's somebody that is like a the a, a switchboard or a, a, a secretary or something a secretary proper word now um, <clears throat> um, I want to leave that I I might leave them a little piece of chocolate so they're gonna love me the next time I come in. Or they're going to, you know, have that, oh, she left me chocolate or she left me this or whatever, you know. But I actually had somebody raise their voice to me that was calling me to try to talk to me about doing business with them. And I just, they actually raised their voice to me. And I said, you really expect me to do business now with you? And I hung up. And they, and then they called me back and I blocked it. I don't know. I don't even know who they were. I mean, it was just <clears throat> sad that, and, and it's really weird because that seems to be, uh, well, the, you kind of know that those are spam, you know, they just have a list. Well, I got to jump off. Yeah. Have a great weekend. Yeah. yeah we're going to all jump. You too. Bye-bye. You too. All Bye. right. Uh, thank you all for coming. Have, have a great weekend. And... Um, Helen, Helen, yes. can you call me? Can you call me? After, yes, after you I have to wait till Rob's back so I can figure yeah. out if I want to talk. No, I, I really need to. I really want to talk to you real quick. Uh, just at like. All a, right, a, I'll give you a holler. Two minute thing. Yeah. Okay. okay.